going on. So I gotta show you guys this load. This is all this is all I'm hauling right here. One pallet. One fucking pallet. And they put it on the tail. There's nothing else in here. One pallet, four drums. Pretty secure. Um, they're not gonna go anywhere. They're not completely full. <laughs> yeah, because see, even uh, because they don't have a dock here, Eric, this is like a one time ship deal. They don't have a way to get them into the fucking nose. Trust me, I wish they could be in the nose. This is as far as they can stick them in, so I got two load bars in the front and I got one heavy duty one. No, the title is not clickbait. It says that's it. That's it. Yeah, I know. I wish I could stick it in further, but I can't. They don't have a dock here. Oh no. All they got is a, uh, all they got is, um, see, they don't have a dock. See what I'm saying? There's nowhere for me to go. I'm in a pharmaceutical uh, area. Paying eighteen hundred. Time to shoot. So that's it. Put a load bar down on the metal. Ooh, that's a good idea. Let's do that. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about on the top. To create kind of like a cage to keep the top of them from rocking. That's what you're talking about. I like that. Get 
some of the shit out here. Um, I don't know if I have it. I gotta pull this whole thing out to get to my straps. That's a good idea too. Hold on, then we'll show you guys again. Let's get an extra load bar out here. Where's the fucking ratchet piece? Some motherfuckers on the other side. Tie down around the load locks. Okay. Hold on, I got straps and shit. Hold on. We'll figure this out together. I'm glad you guys are here. Get to my damn. To get to my straps. There they are. Y'all stay there. Straps, baby. We gotta go to the other side, because that's where the damn ratchet end for the fucking load bar came off on the other side box for some reason. Let's take all these straps back here. Oh, motherfucker. Dragging shit all over the place. It's ridiculous. What did Mike Williams say? Hold on. What did Mike Williams say? One low bar down the center and strap the barrels around it. Okay. Let's put all this shit back together real quick. I like to keep everything organized in here, man. Hard to do all this shit on one hand. Yeah, I know, Charlie. I wish I had tracks. I do. That's my cat litter. Mike, if it goes terribly wrong, it's on you. Those barrels are rolling around in my trailer because I'm going to do it like you're saying. Yeah. I need the other part of the load bar. Ugh. I just want you to know that, Mike. Eric, jot that down, get his name, number, address, and everything. And, uh, if it doesn't work, then it's on him. If there's a cargo claim, you tell Eddie to call Mike, and he'll take care of it. Don't let Pete drive, yeah, well, it's his shift. Well, I gotta open the other door to get in the other side box. It smells like Christmas in there, in the truck.
smells like Christmas in my truck. I got a Christmas scented air freshener. It smells like pine cones and trees and shit in there. I don't know where the other part to that fucking load bar is. It's not on that other side box. All right, where am I gonna put you guys at? Unfortunately, nothing in here is fucking metal. My truck smells like pine. Okay. Hold on. successful in trucking you gotta do some shit that no one else wants to do who's the dumbass that said that I blame Casanova my truck smells like ass <laughs> going to do is strap all of the barrels together so that they're one unit so that they can't fall over individually. I think that's the best way to do this shit. This is probably like watching a monkey fucking football, right? Because you guys are like, I would have done this. This is definitely like watching a monkey fucking football. For some of you guys. Some of you guys that do this shit all the time, you're like, man, you dumbass. Just fucking put a stripe around it. Put a ratchet strap through the hole in the pallet and the rack. I, I, you can't, man, this is, a, I, I, I don't have nowhere to hook them. That's the problem. See? And I totally blame Eric, okay? Totally blame Eric. It's like watching his swift 90 degree back. Okay, Mike, you didn't have to go that far. You didn't have to go that far, man. You didn't have to do me like that, bro. I think it's even more complicated than that. It's like watching a monkey fuck a football while he's trying to do a math problem. We're rigging some shit up here. We are rigging some fucking shit up. So I can fuck some shit up. I know how to tie knots real good. Can I just use some string?
Sure. Come here. There we go. All right, now are we tie. Is it righty tighty, lefty loosey? And then, and then like the rabbit goes around. The rabbit goes around. the hole to the tree, right? The rabbit goes around the tree To the fucking, to the house. I don't think they're going anywhere now. These motherfuckers are in there. All right, good enough. It's, uh, what do they say? Good and tight. It's good and tight, see? Got them strapped in. I used a double bowline knot. Three fucking load bars. Yeah, if they slide, they slide as one. We'll see what happens. I'll just have to periodically check on it all. But. I blame, uh, what's his name? Matt Williams. Or Mike Williams, Mike Williams. If it's all fucked up. I gotta get padlock. But uh, anyways, that's one pallet. That ain't the real Larry June there, the one without the wrench, you can block him. The real Larry June has a wrench. So that one that's up there, without it, you can block him. What's up, SoCal? There we go. Padlock installed. I got pictures of my load securement here on YouTube. So let me give you some details here on the load. tell you what it is, but I can tell you what it weighs and how far it's going. Cali Kings, what's happening? Um, the load weighs 1,700 pounds, 1,746. No, I don't have a weigh system on the trailer. That's what the bills say that it weighs. Those, um...
Yeah, these are non, it's non hazmat. Even though they did include a material safety data sheet with the bill of lading. After I deliver the load, I can tell y'all what it is, but. can't tell y'all what it is right now. And I'm in like a shitty, shitty little spot too. This is, I'm like in a fucking, I'm in like a parking lot over here. Oh yeah, I'll get right on that. Scaling it. <laughs> but it pays good and it's uh, yeah, shit, shit spot. That's what Big Face calls him. Hey, he did his first live feed earlier. If you only subscribe, make sure that you are to uh, Big Face. He's another travel local driver. He's always up in New York, so he shares videos of some of the places he goes. You know, Brooklyn and different places like that. So if you're if your guy's never been up there or something, and something you're interested, he shows some of those shit spots. But uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go check in on Zello and talk to everybody. I gotta get out of this parking lot. Thank you guys for chiming in and seeing where I'm at with the uh, securement of these drums. But it's uh, one pallet, 1,700 pounds, four barrels going 700 miles, and uh, it's paying pretty decent. So you guys take care. We'll talk to you over on the Zello channel. Links in the description. Later guys, be safe, keep the shiny side up, and we'll have an edited video tonight. Cool music video. Later.